What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and I got another quick video for y'all today. <clears throat> uh, this one is called "She Learned That Women Are More Unfaithful Than Men" by Logical Dating One on One Reactions, and uh, I mean the title says it itself. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into it. And uh, y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all fuck with your boy. Let's get these numbers back up. Anyway, let's do it. I want to know if you would be upset at your boyfriend for this situation. I've been holding this in for a while, so it can finally come out. My fiance's Christmas party for his company was obviously at the end of December. It was huge. It was held at a beautiful hotel in New Orleans, hundreds of people, lots of other parties, Christmas parties going on too. Like it was just a lot of people, a lot of chaos, a lot of drinking. We were having fun. Me and my fiance were having a fun night. Like we were drinking, we were laughing, we were talking. I danced a little bit, got to meet some of the coworkers that he sees every single day. Now, Everything was going smooth until about two hours into the party, close to midnight. At this point, I am fucked. So was everybody else. I go to the bathroom. It's raining out there. And as I'm washing my hands, two of my fiance's coworkers that he works with every day that I've never met before start. Girl, you need to keep your eyes on the road with all that rain going on. Are talking to me in the middle <laughs> of the bathroom. And they were both messed up. One of the girls is like, we literally have been talking about it all night and you are so pretty. And we just can't believe that you're with him. Like mm. you're way too good looking for him, which is not true. And I pretty much told her so. And to be honest, I was taken aback and I probably didn't handle that situation well. Looking back, I should have just slapped a bit some of you probably already know where this is going i was just like <laughs> what like he's an amazing person he's an amazing father like a great fiance like i love him so much so they're going on and on and on about how okay. i am out of his league i leave the bathroom we go out go walk on bourbon street we go to some a lot of women do that because they want your man so they want you to feel like shit so they can swoop in and get him clubs we come back to the hotel. As we are getting in the elevator, good time. this girl calls my fiance and she says, my friend, the other girl in the bathroom, she is so trashed. She's wasted. She's throwing up. I don't know what to do. She's crying. So us being nice people, we jump into action, right? We get on the elevator. We go to their room. As soon as we get in there, the girl that called grabs my fiance into an embrace, like a oh, hug. I didn't no. like it, but I was like, she's drunk. She's young, nah, obviously like here. not been in this situation before and just needs help. I did not think much more of it. I thought it was weird, but I was like, whatever. She's kind of like, eh, like freaking out. So he stays with her. I go in the bathroom to help the girl who's sick. So when I'm in the bathroom, I'm like holding her hair, trying to give her water. And she's insisting that she's okay. And y'all, she was fine. She was older than me. She was probably in her mid to late thirties. Like she was good. She told me like, I'm good. That girl didn't trick you. Like, she was kind of like, mm, I, I'm, I'm all right. It's a so trap. Like, the girl was messed up, but not to the point where they needed help from us or anybody. <laughs> now I'm starting to get suspicious. I'm like, why the f they call us up here? So I grab my fiance and we leave the room. As we are walking out, he says, she was trying to pull me on the ground. She was like trying to pull me down onto the bed on the ground, like trying to get me to embrace her. She was wow. trying to pull some slick basically while I was in the bathroom with her friend. Wow. So literally. <laughs> told y'all. It's a, it's a common thing that these hoes do, bro. They try to tell, they tell you, girl, that you ain't shit, so they can get you, bro. Y'all stay woke out there. Right <laughs> as the hotel door closes behind us, I turned around. I wish the door would have been open. Shoot was, it. What is your issue? Like you need to chill the f out. She didn't say anything back to me, but my fiance like grabbed me. He's like, let's go. I'm heated. We go to the room where this man proceeds to tell me that she has been hitting on him four months like making comments about how he's out of my league looking at me and his picture on the desk like oh you could do better or something like that like he he didn't say exactly the things that she said but that's Sweet. what i gathered now personally although i know it would make me upset to hear that kind of thing i wish i would have known because no, that don't. whole situation at the christmas party could have been avoided i hate being i think you would have done the same thing as a matter of fact, you probably would have gone in there loaded and making it a big deal. It wasn't yep. a big deal to him. He pushed this girl off, get yep. off me. And as a matter of fact, when that went down, he told you what was going on. And then as a man, he kind of played it safe because if you know your woman, you know how you know how hot they get around females. And then that's probably why he was keeping his distance. Like, I'm pretty sure throughout the whole dinner, he wouldn't even 
stunning her. He was keeping her distance, keeping his distance, and he was, you know, showing his wife a good time, and they was kicking it, having fun and stuff. The other girl been plotting, so she she was like, well, damn, I, I've been trying for four months. Can't get in his head. Let me get into her head, because it's so easy for us, uh, an, uh, a snake-ass female to weave those thoughts into your lady to where it man it can be undone like that man that's why you got to pick a, a a female that's strong in that like mentally strong bro so she can withstand all this stuff because now it's out of 10 the problems ain't gonna come from the dude like so the problems in your relationship is not gonna come from you know an outside dude especially as a man if you're doing your part the problem is going to come from the women, like her best friend, uh, the whole friend, the one that wants some single, the one that, uh, you know, is jealous of your relationship, or just girls that want you, but they can get close to your wife by other means, get close to your girl by other means. And that's how, that's usually how, like, a lot of relationships break up. It started there. And then once the problems arise in your relationship, then another nigga can come in and do what it do. But anyway, let's keep it going. You're looking stupid. I hate looking stupid like that. Like, and she he she probably feels like he was like making her look stupid. But as a man, and the boys can vouch in the comments, like he he didn't do that to make you look stupid. He did it because you know he knows you, and he knows that you will be ready to smack a bitch and i'm pretty sure if we had video footage of that night you know he he was staring way clear of her you know if anything the girls was staring her down the entire time and then when she got alone they they made their move you know what i'm saying and then for them to call after the party as a you know as an evil female they're thinking that what they said to her earlier is working so you know what i'm saying like it women are fucking evil bro they evil but boo bear she he did not like make you look stupid if anything you know what i'm saying like it, it sucks like because women you know they're emotional so they, they don't see the logic in it you know what i'm saying and so but i'm pretty sure like that's it that's that's a that's a man so you know he calmed her down you know got everything situated they still together obviously but you know it is what it is. But I'm the I last it. one to know. I don't think that shit at all. I didn't give him a hard time about it, but I was just like, I wish I would have known. Because if I would have known that she's been hitting on you, I would have known what she was trying to pull from the moment that she talked to me in the bathroom. When yeah. I brought this up in front of some maybe, males, maybe not. they were on his side. They were like, we're not going to tell y'all stuff like that because we don't want to upset you. And for what? So yeah, I see exactly. both sides. I'm empathetic. I get but it. being the person on this side doesn't, it doesn't feel great. I get it, man. I, I definitely get it. Well, just tell me. Well, you'd have been upset. You'd have been all at my job back and crazy. Yep. And even if you wouldn't have done that because you didn't seem like that per the type of person to do that, you'd have been up at the party acting crazy. Hey, oh, let yeah. me pull you aside. You talk oh, to my yeah. man again. I'm going to take you up out of here. We don't know. Exactly. And it's just like, as a man, that's just, that's just more drama and stuff. And then on top of that, what she's failing to realize he didn't tell her that because now every time he goes to work, she's going to have that in her head. It's just going to create unnecessary problems when, you know, that's what's I, like me and no, me and no want to disrupt their peace. So I totally understand him not telling her It's it to women. It does not. It, it seems like more than what it is. But as a man, and once you, once you, once you look at it logically, Man, that shit ain't nothing to us, bro. That, that's just another, you know, bimbo or some shit. Need that. I just came in here with friends. Hey, let me help you. Hey, you know, it just don't seem like we helping anybody. Let's get up out of here. Hey, yo, we need to stay clear. She was trying to pull all she was. And you can get mad and all that stuff, but it's done. You know, I see what she's saying, but it's done. I have a question for the fellas. I just legit would like to know. Um, okay. I read a comment where a man said that he would never um raise another man's seed never and raise another man's child i'm trying to understand what's the mindset behind that say you meet a woman and you love her vibe she has all the qualities that you're looking for and she has a kid 
but the father isn't active in the kid's life? Are you going to not date her because you don't want to raise someone else's kid? And yep. if so, why? I feel like if you meet this woman and she has all the qualities that you're looking for and she has this kid um, whose father is not in their life, I feel like that's a good thing to have another adult, a male figure in the picture to give some guidance, especially if it's a it's if it's a little boy. And I would be honored to step up and, and be there for that kid, especially if that kid did not have a mother in their life. Every child needs a mother and father figure. Um, and just True. because you meet a woman and she has kids doesn't mean that you are their father. You're a father figure for them. You're, you're giving them something that the mother cannot. And when it's all said and done, it's all about these kids, y'all. This is the reason why you're answering, your, you're answering your own question right now. Kids are so for now. They come from broken homes. They come from uh, poverty. They come from lack of guidance. And if you have two people helping this kid succeed, they will be better adults when they grow up. We have to get out of that mindset of. I'm not raising another man's seed. And no, just think don't. about the kid. Like think no, about bro. if it were you and if you were missing your father in your life and how nice it would have been if your mom had met someone that was willing to step up and play that role in the absence of your actual father. I hear it you. matters, y'all. Like I just, I cannot fathom saying that I would never raise another woman's kids if these kids don't have no motherly Never. figure in their life like we have to be there for these kids like seriously it's it's not that big of a deal it's not i don't what? understand can y'all please help me explain maybe my way of thinking is off but if somebody can tell me um why you wouldn't raise another man's kid and and, and make it make sense then maybe i'll change my mindset i doubt it but i'll at least listen to what y'all have to say so a man's got to be able to guarantee and control everything in his house. And when you say you're not his father, you're a father figure, that gives him some of the responsibility and <laughs> the stuff that really matters, you can pull that back at any time. And so the things that he's saying and allowed to go on in his house, he doesn't have any control over that. That would be why. I think the word that's getting you is never. Like in any circumstance, I would never do it. But what if it was this? What if it was that? This is how women operate. They have so many different scenarios in their head. And when you say never, you put a stop to all that. That's probably what she didn't like. He was like, well, if we were the last people on earth, what if you're the last people on earth? And I, well, yeah, if there was my dying wish or something like that, then maybe, yeah, but I have a choice and this is not the choice. And you don't like that. He's the doctor. Uh, to add to that, to add to that, it's a, it really is a double-edged sword because, and let's just take me, like I'm willing to date a single mom, but it, it has to be like certain, like certain, stip like my ex, let's just take my ex. Well, let's take any of it really. Uh, I've dated two girls with kids and for me, I don't jump in it just, you know, whatever. It's really hard for me to, especially after the first one, the first one fucked me up. And now if I, I don't think I would date somebody else with kids simply because one, once you get a connection with that kid, it means nothing when they leave. Like you, you can't spend birthdays with the kid. You can't give them Christmas present. It's literally like I think that the severance of that relationship sucks way more than the severance of your ex. You know what I'm saying? And it like it's and it sounds weird saying it out loud, but like if you're taking up that father figure role in that child's life and you're investing and in, in, in showing them, especially if it's a little boy. You're investing your time showing them what it means to be a man and instilling values into him. Um, helping him grow, you know what I'm saying? You know, helping him figure out the style, learning to love what he likes, bonding, playing sports with him, all kinds of stuff. Even if it's a, a little girl, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, my, my other relationship... You know she has a daughter and it's just like you know showing her how a man is supposed to be how, how a man is supposed to treat their mother 
stuff like that once that's gone like it re it really fucking sucks you know what i'm saying like everything you like just put in and then on top of that you the, the amount of money you put into it because like dates don't dates aren't just you and the mom is is a family outing like you're spending money plethora of money to go out to eat plethora of money to buy groceries you you buying school supplies you doing birthdays you doing christmas you lose so much money and get nothing in return and then on top of that <laughs> let's just take my my uh my ex with her son say you plan something right with the with the with the kid let's just take okay i give you i just give you one of my uh one of something that happened to me and that that kind of hit me hit me hard like it fucked me up because it was like damn it can like i can be dropped like that and it like it fucked me up even to this day like like even like with my girl now like she you know her daughter like i'm skeptical to do stuff with the daughter now just because of this situation so halloween was coming up and you know as y'all know I, I cosplay as the red ranger you know i cosplay as many as power rangers and so the son just fell in love with power rangers because of that and me and him was sitting and watch power rangers so for halloween he comes to me and like he wanted to get a power ranger costume and go trick-or-treat he wanted me to take him trick-or-treating and we dress up as power rangers and you know me i'm thinking like oh my god yes like i'm so down and so we're planning everything finna go get the suit all this stuff i'm planning out where to take him and stuff and then the monday the monday the week of halloween that monday or tuesday it was a couple of days before halloween his dad called him ask like wanting to take him trick-or-treating and wanted to get him he had already bought him a costume that he had talked to his dad for like i don't know like i guess earlier that year or just something that he told his dad he wanted to be month like like earlier that year or just whenever they talked about it before the whole situation with me and I got dropped like that, just like that. And it, it fucked me up because it was like, you know, he made plans to me and all that stuff to, for me to go trick or treat. And it was crazy. His dad wasn't supposed to have him for Halloween, but his dad up to wanted to do Halloween with him. And it's fucked in it. And, and, and the fact that like, you know, it was no second guess or no already made plans with uh you know mama's boyfriend it fucked me up bro it fucked me up like and i didn't and that was like the first that was like that that was like a moment where i was like damn like i can the relationship i in my head i would never like if i say i'm gonna do something for him I'm not going to turn my back, but like, you know, it doesn't work that way. And I know he's a kid, but he's still old enough to like, you know, like he was like 10. So he could easily be like, no, I'm going to go trick or treating with mom and, you know, her boyfriend or something. Like he could easily say, no, there's been plenty of times he turned his dad down, but he did in that time. And it fucked me up. I could be dropped like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, what if I like with my girl now like what if like you know her like you know i got into this late like me and her build our relationship and stuff and i'm the one investing let's just take back my uh the ex with the son like i'm the one you know investing in the school supplies getting them school getting them clothes and stuff it's me you know what i'm saying like his dad ain't really do much his dad ain't you know his dad don't even like what he likes so like his dad would be buying him stuff because he wanted his son to dress a certain way and all this stuff and it's a whole it was a whole situation with his pops but it's just like i'm the one actually listening to him you know and, and figuring out his style and what he like and it's just like you know when it came down to like 
situations where you know the parents would get uh what's the word where the parents would get a knowledge for the kid or like they had special events and like you know just parent te- the parent student shit i was never there like you know i you know ne- i never i never would get credit and it sucks and it's like i know it ain't my son but I, like i'm putting in just as much work if not more with the kid than his own dad and it's like his dad ain't sitting him sitting with him every day doing homework with him i am you know what i'm saying his dad ain't teaching him how to maneuver with bullies and stuff i am his dad ain't listening to what he like his likes and dislikes and wanting to you know just figuring out about himself and like you know trying to walk through life with confidence i am you know his dad ain't it just sucked like for real it just sucked that like anytime it was time to for the parent like those moments in life where the parents get praised and stuff for all the stuff that they do you know just like those moments in life where you know you're seen for everything you do for your child i was never involved and it sucked and so now it's just like you know what if i get in you know what if i stay with this girl now and then let's just say i put her through college and all that stuff and she gets like the daughter gets married you know and like let's just say i pay for the wedding but she wants her dad to walk through the aisle and don't tell me to after the wedding and stuff has been paid for and there's you know a month before the wedding and shit like everything's already done money wise but like i don't get the luxury of walking her down the aisle like i will be fucking fucked up you know what i'm saying and it's just like those are the things that come with dating a single parent single single mom and it's like women don't understand how detrimental that is to a man's mental because you not only do you have to go into a relationship with the mother and not expect nothing back but you also have to get in a relationship with this child and not expect nothing but and that's the thing like when you like you know do for your kids you get something back like you get like just picture your parents like you know just the stuff that they've done for you over the years and then over the years you start being able to pay them back helping them as they get older just it, it, it it's a balance you know what i'm saying but like if you're a step parent you did all of that to you know grow the kid and give them everything and make sure they don't have a fucked up life you know like she was asking like you know yes you know they grew up in the house with two parents and understand that but at the same time you still won't get the benefits of that actually being your child and that's something that like i've been known and it's like part of me was like you know if i fuck with the girl hard, heavy enough i kind of like push myself through it but like i don't think i can do i don't think a third a third girl can come in my life with their cat their child i don't think i don't I, i'm pretty sure i would never date another uh another another girl with a child i just can't i just can't put that i just can't go through that a third time because it's so much on your mental and it's so much that like it's just not fair for the man and and i'm and then on top of it a lot of people when they got kids they they was wilding and fucking up like the only reason and that's another thing so the reason i dated these two girls is because like you know their situation how it happened you know it was with their their first boyfriends like they got kids from their first boyfriends while they were young granted yes they still they you know they was young and wilding but still it was their first and then you know shit happened where they tried to work it out and then the girl now she kept the baby because like her mom was dying and this could be the only time that her mom could be a grandmother like that's like they knew that she didn't have that long to live or she had it in her head and then come to find out like you know it was right she died like after the baby she died like two three years later after the baby was born so it's like you tell me a story like that like 
and then like the babies with your first and you just couldn't like y'all just couldn't get it together because y'all was young i i understand i kind of let that slide you know same with the uh the first girl i dated with a kid she you know they were young or whatever and just couldn't get the shit to you know when you young you can't you man you can't get that i i pr- i i think it's amazing people who date their first and and everything works out and they're able to get married and have a family and stuff but you know in today's time with social media that rarely happens and you know and then their baby dads are still in that child's life so it ain't like you taking up everything like you gotta you know play a role 24 7 but because you are living with the mom and they do have custody of the kids you do basically get 90 percent of that work of as a father figure and to not get the benefits of being a father it just sucks but i think i rambled long enough so i don't i don't sit there and say yes they single moms no but like if you meet a girl and the sit and it ain't like she was a hoe you know what i'm saying because you can tell the girls that was a hoe out here wilder and that they would never date you if they didn't have a kid shit like that because there's a lot of folks that got kids now that would never date you 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 just know that they would never date they had if they didn't have a kid they wouldn't date you but because they got a kid they gotta think about like you know that uh they gotta think about the child's like future and stuff and if you ever get that feeling don't date but it is situations where like you know you 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 can't you can't like just it's it's situ- it is some girls out there that just like they got dealt you know the hand that they was dealt with and you know they have a kid but me personally i i can do it but i don't i don't think i ever will anymore because you get no you get no fucking you get nothing back you get nothing back and it's and it's hard to tell somebody to like date somebody with a single let's date a single mom and then just to mentally prepare them to not get anything back that's not you got to be cut you got to be cut differently you got to be built way different bro do i just have to speak my piece one thing i really hate seeing on this app is when women are out here trying to discourage women from finding good men women who say things like oh i don't like to be friends with women who care about men who care about men's feelings or care about men's opinions those women are terrible friends no i think you're a terrible friend i encourage all my friends to find good men to keep good men to cater to good men because one day you're going to want to marry a man mm. all your friends get married start having kids you become less of a priority oh and that's just the facts yes sir so when they're out here encouraging you to not care about a man this and that it only matters for so long because when you're alone and you're 50 and you have no one to come home to and share your day with you'll be regretting that you listen to somebody it's like that suck. mind you it's always those ones who tell you that and they'll be off living their happy lives saying oh my goodness you haven't found someone yet there's not a way to say this without coming off as needy, wanty, pick me as But I know I'm not the only one and I'm so sick of, I'm so sick of having to be strong and <laughs> independent and happy by myself. Uh, and I appreciate my own company. I love my own company. I love the time I that you. I get to spend with myself, all the energy that I get to invest in just myself and just my son. But I want compassion. I get I it. want affection. I want love. I want a companion and of course I have my sisters and my mom and my family and all my friends and like and support enough. from such a large community but this lonely <laughs> I want someone to look forward to spending the night with I hear you to look forward to going to special events with mm. and it's so odd to say it because it's like I don't feel like I'm necessarily ready for it and I'm actually very scared to even start dating again but like i don't want to be alone anymore like Mm -hmm. i'm so over being alone and being strong and i just want to feel loved like i want to feel 
unconditional love towards me and Zaylin and knowing that I have a man's support. I have a man that I can call. I have a man that will provide and take care of me if need be. And not in the sense necessarily only financially, but I mean emotionally, spiritually, literally protect me. Like, I don't want to be strong. I don't want to be the man of the house. I'm so over it. But yeah, that's all. I don't know. I know I'm not the funny person who feels this way. You're not. And let me tell you what's going to help her. About a year or so ago, she had all these videos of her twerking her behind off. Just acting a fool. Ain't no man going to tell me what to do. But like I said, here's what's going to help her out. I went through her page because I was like, wait a minute. I recognize this woman. All them videos are gone. She deleted all of them. Cause I was about to show it like, wait a minute, this is the same woman that, and I was gonna do a little side by side. I was scheming and plotting. All of them are gone. And I commend you for that. Because now you're saying, there's going to be no evidence of me acting a fool. So now she looks relatively, relatively attractive. You're not ugly, right? You got one kid. <laughs> if you're not out there acting a fool, you acting like a lady, I would say you got a chance. Oh, on it. You deleting those videos? I props. I salute you for that because you was about to get yourself in a world of trouble. I picked up a double today because I'm married to the money. Happy Valentine's Day! She ain't got no digger, that's why. I'm find the sexy <laughs> men. Go to Trader Joe's and Ralph's on a Friday night. They look like a doe, and I can't believe the amount of fine men I saw. Oh my God. Oh my God. Only this would happen to me. The days that look so good, nothing. Nada. Nothing. Days that look like an absolute toe, <laughs> they all want to come out. They all want to come out. Universe, you're really testing me with this. You're really testing me. Not really. The universe is just giving the men the things that they actually want instead of you coming out here trying to make it seem like you J-Lo. You know what? <laughs> what I mean to say is, Makeup does wonders for us. And you trying to come out thinking, this is what I want to present myself as. I appreciate the effort, but there's a lot of men that don't really care about that. So you come out, find the man that you want, and be happy. And to add to that, women think they're like, they have to have all this makeup and stuff to, to cuff us when no, like, that's not what we waking up to every day. We much rather see how you look with none of that on like we're we're probably we're we're more likely faster to talk to you with no makeup because that lets us know you're comfortable in your own skin and that you you know that's your true beauty like you know makeup is cool but no i hate when women think that like they got to get dolled up and stuff for us to want to be around them for us to want to take them out and stuff and it's just like nah buddy we don't care about none of that shit. Only y'all do. Y'all wear makeup for each other, not for us. And then they still don't listen to us when we tell them that we don't care about all that stuff, you know? But uh, I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me on this video. Got another, had another quick one for y'all. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to go back to uh, doing the videos, like uh, adding videos on Friday saturday yeah i don't know i think about it but anyway please if you watched this far i appreciate you i love you like comment subscribe let's run the numbers back up let's get back going peace out